Hey folks, it's David Bourne from newwildmedia.com and I am doing a quick test recording of Zoom using two cameras. I'm using the camera here, which is a old webcam that's attached to my monitor. And I'm using this second webcam, which is right next to me. It is a, uh, you can't see that, but I should try to show you. There it is. It's right there. So I'm using that. I'm also using a lavalier mic in an attempt to get better sound. I'm gonna take that off. That way it can travel with me whichever direction I'm looking. And I am just running some tests because I want to, I want to show folks a technique called Storyboard Allowed. And so this is a, a test recording. It's a, it's a run through of the production setup. Uh, so I just wanted to just give you the very basics of how I do things with uh, note cards. It's a, I need to come up with a good name. Well, I have a good name for it. The name for this process is the storyboard allowed process. And so what I want to do is to uh, just practice with this setup and test this gear. I have a feeling that this camera is pretty low quality. So I'm gonna to wanna to change that out. And, um, but anyway, you know, it takes practice to get stuff right. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me just go ahead and switch over to the other camera. Now it is a uh, Logitech HD Pro. And as you can see, I've got my cards here. And so whenever I, um, whenever I do a, uh, a storyboard aloud, what I do is I start with, uh, I start with a purpose. I start with a topic and I create a series of cards around that. I'm usually recording when I create those cards, uh, which is why my handwriting is not so legible, I'm afraid, because uh, I'm writing really fast. So that's not good. But uh, I have another way of making the cards more legible, which I will show you on a later date. But for now, you can see that I've taken a Sharpie, good old Sharpie, and a stack of note cards. I've got this box. I finally bought a box that I uh, really like, and it's got my uh, different... At least I'm developing a podcast course. That's all the cards for the podcast course right there. Uh, so I'm also working on a series for note-taking. And so that's that. So I could just show you, show you that one. So that's a real series. So typically what I do is I make note cards and I, uh, I'll put them in a certain order. And so if this is the Stay Creative Project, note-taking project, uh, one of the first things I do is look at problems. So what problems do we solve whenever we take notes and journal? And I definitely wanna give some quick digital tips. That's not at the top. Um, one of the things I wanna talk about is a small notebook system. So that's gonna be my next video is talking about the small notebooks. So that could be near the top and you know, uh, I can talk about this topic. What's the problem does it solve? Well, you all you got a journal with you. You can always take notes if you have a small notebook with you. So um, just going through my cards here, maybe I'll put them where you can see them. Uh, it's a great way to generate ideas because if you take notes, you'll be able to keep track of your thoughts. If you don't have a notebook, if you don't have a small notebook with you at all times in your pocket, you're not going to be able to uh, put down any thoughts, at least not on paper. Maybe your phone is there, but maybe you're on the phone and you need to take a note. So a small notebook is an excellent way to do that. And just so I could give you a visual on what I'm actually talking about, this is what I'm talking about right here, a small notebook, which I have this system. I'll take a notebook and I will uh, I'll use gaffer's tape, which is this black, it's kind of like duct tape, but it's better because it, well, 
comes on and off really easily. That way you can use it without too much sticky. Now this is a really old book. It's got a little bit of sticky. You can clean that up if that bothers you. But as you can see, this is well worn and well, uh, well used. By the way, the pin, uh, that's one of the things I'm gonna be talking about. You don't need to know the details on that now though. That comes, that's another, that's another topic. I digress. So anyway, this is kind of how this works. I'll go through my note card stack and I will put things in order. Maybe I'll talk about different sizes, why that size is so. Definitely talk about note-taking habits. It's good because it's tangible, it's a real thing. And uh, that's definitely solves a problem because sometimes when we get stuck on our computers, we don't have the real thing. We don't have the real, um, we don't have the real thing going on. So, uh, stencils and clips, click it, that's another thing. So, oh, you can scan these into Evernote. That's another thing I did. Okay, so that's basically one of the ways that I create and uh, taking away is also important. So, but I can rearrange things and move things around and think about the sequence of what I'm gonna talk about and add and detract and so, uh, it's important that you do this while you're recording. That's the other thing, which is what I'm doing right now. I am recording this. So now what I am not doing, I've realized, I'll switch back. So what I'm not doing is recording my face while I'm doing all this, which would be nice to be able to do that. So how do I do that? Well, I'm not real sure. I need to probably set up another camera, maybe. I don't know, I'm kind of working out these kinks. I was hoping to be able to record both my notebook visual and me at the same time, but I don't know how Zoom, I know it will do that, but I don't know the best way to do that. So anyway, that is the process of the storyboard allowed. I got my new setup, new test, so I'm glad to get that done. I'm gonna stop the record button now, and thanks for watching.